बी पार्ट सेकंड के विद्यार्थियों का स्वागत प्रिय विद्यार्थियों मैं विनीता चौधरी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज सुजान प्रिय विद्यार्थियों इससे पहले के वीडियोस में हमने चर्चा की थी पोयम टीयर्स आइडियल टीयर्स about the introduction brief summary line to line explanation in today's video we will talk about the meaning of the words that are used in the poem and style of the poem Tears idle tears is a small lyric of a larger poem the princess which is about princess ida the princess lives with her female companions rejecting marriage and male companion ship in school she was founded for women's education alone a maiden sings the present lyric as a song so now we will talk about the words that are used and the meaning of those words the poet says in the first line tears ideal tears so what is the meaning of the word ideal why he called tears as ideal tears it means useless purposeless baseless the word ideal can have many different men meanings sen tennison revised it from tears foolish tears for this reason because he don't know the reason of the coming of the tears in his eyes the word ideal is associated with laziness but it can also mean empty worthless or dead divine despair the hopeless yearning of man for complete fulfillment in the world man has a divine origin that the despair is perhaps that of god for the in ability of a man to achieve joy and happiness the next word that is used under world the word under world means the land of the dead in this poem it has the obvious meaning of the land to which the ship comes and from which it departs but its symbolic meaning is equally important as the world of the dead it means the place under the earth where people are believed to go when they die the world under world is a term that could mean a criminal world but in this context it is obvious that he is talking about the abode of the dead the next word that is used casement it is a part of a window hinged to open like a door next hopeless fancy fate to be kissed by a hopeless lover ah the third stanza begins with the word ah so said that so strange as in the dark summer dawns the use of ah to begin the stanza emphasizes the fact that the speaker is thinking and the whole poem is a train of thought regret feeling of sadness because of something 
that has happened again the next word is death in life it is a longing for the dead days the days that are no more they are revived and lived once again poet wants to live those the pleasure of the past those days to live again the image of death in life recalls the dead friends of the second stanza who are like submerged memories that rise to the surface only to sink down once again this death in life also recalls the experience of dying in the midst of the rebirth of life in the morning described in the third stanza the poet's climatic explanation in the final lines thus represents a culmination of the images developed in the previous stanza reddened over fall the poet describing the last beam of the sun at the end of the day that is cast over a boat's sail the use of reddens suggest this because sunset reflects and endows the landscape with red color happy autumn fields the autumn fields are personified here and suggest that they bear the happy memories of a spring and summer that have vanished leaving the poet with nothing to look forward to except the dark and cold of the winter refrain the part of a song or a poem that is repeated after each verse again the whole lyric is written in blank verse blank verse is a is an unrhymed verse composed of lines that usually contain contain 10 syllables and have stress on every second syllable so priya vidyarthiyo ye tha kuch words jo ki is poem mein use kiye gaye the now we will talk about the style and language of the lyric tears ideal tears as far as the style and language of the poem are concerned we are stuck by the poet's handling of images imagery and use of simple words the imagery particularly focuses our attention on the melancholy and sense of irony which we experience with our contemplation of passing of life you can observe that in each stanza there is a simple example to illustrate our sense of loss in the first stanza for example the poet describes a person looking at the happy autumn fields one can reflect on the changes change of season and thus reflection brings tear ideal tears in the st- second stage jab you will note the sense of loss is compared to the feeling of a person who is visited by his friends note the words denison uses to describe the arrival and departure of the friends when they arrive they appear to be coming up from the underworld and when they depart the ship carrying them appears to sink below the verge this is the image of a voice it has symbolic meaning of the voice of life passing from birth to death once the idea of death is indicated in the image of the ship bringing towards from under world its logical connection with the next stanza
can be seen in the mention of dying man. It is clear that the complex subject of poem is rendered comprehensively by the use of language and imagery, a talent in which Tennyson is unmatched. We can also point out the words whose sounds echo the poet's feeling of sadness that causes tears to his eyes. The use of the words tears in the title is particularly striking with its repetition. Tennyson was actually acutely sensitive to sounds and had the gift of appealing to our ears even more than to our senses. Tennyson is considered the greatest Victorian poet largely because of his range and volume of poetic output. He was a consummate artist who could experiment with different poetic forms from lyric to dramatic monologue. The opening lines speaks of tears, ideal tears, which may lead us to expect that there will be unstrained emotions with the poets indulging to the Past. But we find a very compact poem with the emotions being firmly under control. The poetic technique used the poem takes into account some formal devices like blank verse, blank lines and extensive use of images to convey the sense of sadness and sweetness as the two opposite qualities of the human recollection of the past. Thus, it may be said, said that in Tears Ideal Tears, Tennyson has achieved a great poetic aff effect by using the suitable though conventional techniques such as use of blank verse figure of speech and imagery for his grave subject matter which is the recollections of the past and how the recollections are apt to make us feel both sad and happy. So, Priya Vidyatyu, Yatha, style and language of the poem and the meaning of the words that are used in the poem. In the next video, we will talk about the figure of speech that are used in this poem.